Welcome to Leading the Way, a video series about addressing challenges in biomarker testing. Today, you will hear important insights about biomarker testing standardization in advanced ovarian cancer from Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist, and Ms. Courtney Rice, a genetic counselor from TriHealth Hospital Healthcare System based in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Neff, a gynecologic oncologist at TriHealth. TriHealth is a Cincinnati-based healthcare system operating four hospitals and more than 140 sites of care. Today, I'm here with my colleague, Ms. Courtney Rice, who is a genetic counselor and our director of precision medicine. Courtney and I have worked together on biomarker standardization efforts to help meet the institutional goal of being a leader in oncology. Our top priority has always been to ensure that our patients receive the best care. Through precision medicine, we can better partner with our patients to customize their treatment plans. We are very proud of what we've accomplished with biomarker testing standardization at TriHealth, and we would like to share our story with you. In this series, we share strategies that we use to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, also referred to as HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. First, let's discuss how we worked in multidisciplinary teams across specialties to develop solutions that met our institutional needs. We wanted to ensure that we could align our biomarker testing requirements in ovarian cancer with our institutional goal for testing standardization across oncology. We needed to address different testing needs across various tumor types and disciplines. To standardize testing across our institution, we first had to consider the specific test requirements for all tumor types. We needed a way to organize our staff so that we could plan, develop, and implement our standardization efforts. While we already had disease-specific work groups, we also formed a multidisciplinary precision oncology working group comprised of pathologists, genetic counselors, medical oncologists, our research team, administrators, pharmacists, and our information technology team. Through this group, we were able to address disease-specific testing requirements at an institutional level. This committee brought knowledge from their various roles to develop and implement new testing strategies. Additionally, we created the Precision Oncology lead role to help drive efforts towards adoption of an institution-wide testing protocol. Previously, I served alongside another genetic counselor as one of the Precision Oncology leads. In this role, I was a designated point person for the entire testing standardization process across all tumor types. We worked closely with the Precision Oncology work group to execute the plans they developed. With the work group and Precision Oncology lead position in place, we now had an effective and sustainable structure across the organization that currently serves as the foundation for our standardization efforts. To hear more about approaches to testing standardization, please click the link below.